It's starting to look like we have a crusade against the House of Mouse, considering the last two videos we've done, which, by the way, can be seen here and here. But this is far from the case. There's just something so joyfully perverse about the dark underbelly of Walt Disney's Federation of Fun. Everything's geared at families and kiddies, but it was all made by adults. Naughty adults with dark minds who either were liable to accidentally putting sexy mistakes in Disney flicks, or even better, did it on purpose. I'm Adam from whatculture.com and here are nine raunchy moments fiendishly hidden in Disney cartoons. Number nine, Baby Herman's Rogue Finger. Ah, who framed Roger Rabbit? It won't be the last time this film appears on the list. A Bob Hoskins classic, Disney releases through touchstone pictures and with that slight degree of separation, the film was able to take a few more liberties with its risque content, mixing childish cheekiness with adult sleaze. Case in point, Baby Herman's Naughty Finger. In the first five minutes of the film, Baby Herman runs underneath a woman's dress and if you pause you can see his finger pointing directly upwards at what exactly little Mr Herman? In later editions of the film the footage was altered removing Herman's probing digit. Number eight, take off your clothes. Hearing one of Walt Disney's characters telling you to take off your clothes is a kind of experience that changes you. Aladdin is a very good film, apart from that song that dreadful couples sing at karaoke on holiday and you just want to burn Magaluf down. Aladdin is on Jasmine's balcony and comes across her tiger, Raja, and he tries to calm him down. If the internet is to be believed, Aladdin tries to tame the tiger with the words, good teenagers, take off your clothes. Just give it a listen. Come on, good teenagers, take off your clothes. But then the company changed it with Down Kitty for the DVD release, which is an admission of guilt, I say. Number seven, Donald drops an F-bomb. To be fair, of all the Disney characters most likely to cuss you the f*** out, it's Donald Duck. After all, he is a sailor. The year is 1937 and Disney was deep into its stretchy animation years and in a Donald Duck cartoon called The Clock Cleaners, the titular duck is fighting a big spring who's mimicking him. Evidently, Donald doesn't play that f and tells the spring, F you. Listen. According to the script, it actually says you, but it definitely doesn't sound like that. Number six, The Bishop's Bishop. This is one of the more famous ones, and from a still image, it's crazy hard not to argue that this is a bishop's dick we're looking at. You know, that's something to really add a sense of pomp and circumstance to a wedding. Of course, it isn't that, it's actually his knobbly old man knees poking through his robe, which you could see by looking at previous shots. But bizarrely, that didn't stop Disney from altering future releases of the film to remove this bulge, which is odd. I mean, you can't remove this picture from the internet, and now it just looks like you're admitting culpability. Number five, The Lion King's Butt Nose. Here is the poster of The Lion King. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? How about now? And congratulations, you will never be able to see this poster in the same way again. Of course, it isn't an Easter egg or anything like that, but it really does look like a topless woman bending over. It's like seeing Bomberman's head in the Bioshock 2 poster. You will never be the same again. Number four, The Little Mermaid's Penis. Here is a DVD cover for The Little Mermaid. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? How about now? And congratulations, you will never be able to see this cover in the same way again. The gigantic golden penis was brought to Disney's attention after an Arizona parent complained. Their response was, it was an accident, pure and simple, a result of a quite punishing schedule for the cover designer. Needless to say, reprinted covers of the DVD were edited to remove the fact that King Triton had commissioned a giant golden dong to be part of his castle. You are such a lad, Triton. Number three, all the sex. If you believe the internet, and 85% of the time that is a terrible idea, Disney animators are competing in a long-standing game of one-upsmanship to see who's got the cojones to hide the word sex in their films. The most famous is in a dust cloud in The Lion King. Simba falls to the ground and the dust cloud briefly forms the word sex against the night sky. Disney denies it, but one of the animators, Tom Sito, actually claims it was supposed to be the letters SFX as a wink to the animation department. Uh-huh. People have claimed to see the word sex elsewhere, for example, on the poster for Tangled, but that's a shade more tenuous. Number two, Rescuers Poor. Now, this one is not tenuous. This one is definitely there. So much so that in 1999, Disney recalled nearly three and a half million copies of one of their film's VHS tapes. So The Rescuers is a darling little film about the world's tiniest UN response team. As a daring mouse duo of Miss Bianca and Bernard are flying through New York on Orville's back, they pass by a building. Through one of the windows, taking up a mere 
near two frames in a film which had more than 110,000, there could be seen a blurry photo image of a topless woman. Disney refused to say how the image made it into the film and who put it in there, but God help that animator when Walt Disney's ghost found them. And number one, Jessica Rabbit goes commando. Ah, the classic. You've probably heard of this rumour, and it's true. Jessica Rabbit, the animated character that dragged a generation of boys kicking and screaming into puberty, is riding in a toon taxi with Roger, they hit a lamppost and both characters spin out. If you froze the movie at just the right spot, and you can be sure that a generation of boys did, it was revealed that Jessica was going commando, as Mr. Sulu would say, oh my. Disney have basically admitted that the rumour is true, with one executive saying, we were never aware of it, it was just a stupid gimmick the animators pulled on us and we didn't notice it. As with all of Disney's dirty little secrets, the offending frame was later edited out of future releases of the film, but as with all things, once it's on the internet, it ain't never coming off. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.